know what's one of the best things about distance shooting? Is pulling the trigger, waiting, and then hearing the ping. Let's see if we can do that real quick. <laughs> yes, yes we can. That one's at about uh, 450 yards. That's fun. What's going on guys? Clint here with Classic Firearms. We've got Alec with us today. What's up shooters? And we are here to talk about the Browning x HS3 sniper system. I actually got it all out. Yeah, that's a long, yeah, it's a long. That was a long one. But ultimately what we've got here guys is a rifle that's coming in at under about 11 and a half pounds or so. The chassis system itself being like this, which Alec will talk a little bit more about here, but a polymer that's weighing only a two and a half pounds. So the rest of that weight's found all in the barreled receiver and a little bit in the stock back here. This thing is a tack driver chambered in 308, a dedicated chamber to 308. And I think you could reach out and- Really just, touch something. Really, it's a little touch something, yeah, yeah. for sure. Uh, so Alec, you wrote up the ad on this thing, man. Tell me a little bit about it. So we will just go from muzzle to butt. So starting yeah. off, um, the HS and HS3 stands for Hunter Sniper. Mm -hmm. So this was originally intended to be a dedicated sniper platform system type yeah. deal. So, and these have actually never been in the United States before. That's so cool. we were lucky enough to get these in. These have only been available to the European market. Mm -hmm. um, so. With that being said, let's start at the end here. We have a competition style muzzle brake, you know, which comes pretty much standard yeah. on all these um, chassis guns like this. It is an 18 by one thread pitch, and then it also comes with a thread pitch protector yeah, nut thread in pitch, yeah. um, this hard case here. So moving down, this is a 24 inch barrel, guys, and you can see it has these deep flutes in here, which kind of helps take up a little bit of that weight. The accuracy reported on this barrel is just absolutely insane. Yeah. So you're talking easily sub MOA groups out the box, with good ammo. Um, are we, moving down. Um, are we, do we have a one in 10 twist rate? Is it that, is a one in 10 okay, twist cool. rate, yes. Yeah. So moving down a little bit, guys, um, Clint was talking about this chassis. So this chassis system was developed by Modular Driven Technologies or MDT. Um, so they listened to their customers and the original versions of these chassis that came out were a lot heavier. So the gun is heavy overall but compared to other guns that fall within this category in the market, it is extremely lightweight. Yeah. So like Clint was talking about, chassis coming in under three pounds, so it is a grade three mil spec polymer with steel reinforcements on the inside. So 308 doesn't really kick a whole lot, yeah. but it does have enough added strength to keep that chassis from binding and twisting. And then, you know, it still keeps that lightweight profile. And it is free floated as well, guys. So as that is, see. yep, super awesome. Moving down under here, you'll notice you have multiple attachment points if you want to attach a bipod yeah. or a sling or anything like that. And then you also have Picatinny rail sections on either side for mounting, you know, lights, lasers, whatever. <laughs> Range would, finders. Yeah, maybe, exactly. Yeah. That would make sense. Uh, looks like we also got Picatinny mount right up top, obviously for your optic of choice. Mm -hmm. And like Alec was saying too, you've got that sling mount there, which I typically run like a Harris bipod yeah. type, um, as far out as I possibly can so it's cool that you've got these different you know I guess you could say positions where you can mount that because I like having it as far forward as possible yeah uh, so very nicely done it does come with an extendo mag release here yep. uh, which is, makes it very easy to get to four round mag capacity so four plus one for a five round overall capacity uh, coming back a little bit further the trigger Oh my god. All right. That's so, probably one of the best parts of this rifle. Yeah, so the trigger, let's try to do this really quick here. You guys might be a little impressed. Actually, it might be easier to see from right up here. So right now we are on fire. It is clear. And uh, let's just let's just see how much travel, take up, creep, all that stuff we have here. So I'll go ahead and place down and start applying pressure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he breathed on it the wrong yeah, way. Yeah, I, th I think that's ultimately what happened there. So let's do that one more time. 
Yeah, oh, man. that's it impressive. Insane. Yep. And actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and get a uh, overhead shot of us working the trigger pull weight there, the the measure, and uh, let's just see what this is coming in at. Yeah. There we go. Let's zero that guy out really quick, and let's take a look. So one point twelve on that guy, and for something under two pounds, that is sweet. Yeah, and it's also it's honestly a little hard to get the yeah. trigger pull weight on single stages because there yeah. is no wall. You just yeah, you just to have to keep going, and yeah. then you hope you don't over travel. Over, yeah, yeah. So it's like coming up. Yeah, so I feel like I went even past. Yeah. So that one's right at two point or two pounds, 0 0.1 ounces. Yeah. And let's just give it one more just for fun. Let's zero it out. Come on back. 1.3 or 1.13. So, wow. Yeah. Wow. Absolutely mm -hmm. insane. So there you have it. This thing is coming in very light yeah. i am pretty impressed by that love it the way insane. it feels yeah nice single straight trigger oh yeah. no take up no. i mean really yeah. i mean you put it and yeah it's just like there. i mean just that little bit of play is all you get yeah, yeah. that that's that's crazy loving that also too the bolt on this guy yeah that thing is nice as well definitely a smooth action to it a fan uh, coming back as well, it does come with a Hogue Ergo grip that you see right here, and AR style grips yep, as well. Compatible with any of them. So if you don't, if you're not a fan of that, you can throw on any of, any of your AR style grips. And then we're going to talk about the skeletonized stock some, uh, which it being skeletonized takes up or reduces a little bit of that weight as well, and very easy to adjust your comb height, as you can tell. So if you're running higher optics, lower optics, whatever it might be, or you just have, you know, different types of cheek welds that you want to yeah. get or different people, it varies. Mm -hmm. You can adjust that to whatever you want it to be. Same thing with your length of pull. If you got short arms, long arms, there's a solution here for you somewhere. Mm -hmm. So easy, easy adjustments. And the collaboration they did with these rifles is they wanted them to be as lightweight as pop possible without giving up any of the accuracy. So again, this buttstock guys is from MDT, MDT, excuse me, modular driven technologies, <laughs> as well as the chassis system that you're seeing here. So you do have that two, two position selector safety right here. Yeah. You obviously have the red for fire, and then this is your safety position. You also have another indicator up here as well. So you can see this, it'll go down when you're on fire and it'll go up. Does that lock the bolt too? Yeah, yeah it does lock the bolt. And then also you have a, what you would call like a striker indicator on the back. So you can see this little red knob right here. And when it is on fire, the gun is clear. You guys will be able to see that depress in there right there. So you know that your gun is unloaded. Overall, man, I am absolutely blown away by these things and I cannot believe we were able to get some in. Yeah, definitely happy about that. And like we said, in comparison to other things that might be on the market, still a lightweight firearm for, or a lightweight, you know, setup yeah. for a precision shooter. Exactly. Because you know? there's other ones out there like, you know, that big boy, <laughs> <laughs> which is awesome. Might be a little bit different. This one's more, you know, I guess you could say uh, nostalgic or surplus. Yeah. Uh, but this guy here, I tell you what, if you guys are looking for something that can be all weather, since it does have that polymer set up a chassis, it's going to be a little bit more weather resistant. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for competition, hunting even, you got a 308 cartridge. Yeah, this thing can pretty much yeah. do it all, man. And it yeah. is lightweight and maneuverable enough to where yeah. you could easily use this in the competition circuit and oh, still move around easy. really quickly. Absolutely. And uh, I don't think I mentioned too, you do have your QD sling mounts as well. You got some right up here on the Picatinny on both sides. And then you've got one right up top on both sides and then one right on the bottom off for both sides as well. Mm -hmm. So you have all of your pick or excuse me, QD mounting solutions yep. there for you. But uh, yeah, guys, so check this bad boy out, especially with that trigger. Oh my yeah, God. Yeah, it is, is wild, man. And really yeah. everything that has gone into this platform has just been methodically researched and tested. Mm -hmm. You know, Browning and MDT yeah. have just really done something incredible with yeah. these rifles. And they're also coming to you in a thick case as well. So yes. this thing's going to be nice and well protected and shipping or whatever you might want to be doing with it. I'd probably even trust this for air travel as well. Yeah, and it does have locks on it as well. So yeah, or most of your locking positions. Mm -hmm. yeah. So very cool. One last thing I want to talk about. Actually, two more things. Yeah. But this I want to hit first. The current giveaway. This is the M91. <laughs> Uh, SR by Zastava or Zastava, however yeah. you prefer to pronounce <laughs> it. Uh, but ultimately, I just saw that these guys just sold out of their factory yes. on these M91s. I saw that on, a, on their Instagram. And they're back ordered for a while. Yes. So if you didn't get the chance to pick one up, or if we still have some in stock as well, mm -hmm. go ahead and pick one up. But get your entries in 
on the one that we're currently giving away. And while for you're free. for free, that's <laughs> right. And while you're over there, check out our new layout and design of our website because I think it is an attractive set. It looks really nice. It's very modern. Yeah, for sure. Back when we used to be classic arms, yeah. not US. Yeah. Oh my God, talk about how things have changed. Yeah. You know? This thing is really streamlined, man. I'm yeah. glad that it's starting to. We got the ball rolling yeah, now. Got, we looking good. We, yeah. we getting up there in that technology, you know. <laughs> but all right, guys. So that's it for this one here. We got again the Browning Expel HS3 sniper system. We've got the M91 by Zastava or Zastava. All the rifles, all the rifles that you could <laughs> think of, and also our new website. Go check them out, guys. As always, we appreciate you and your business. God bless, and we'll see you next time at ClassicFirearms.com.